Hi, my name is Henrik Orlik. I'm the founder and brewmaster of Heiner Brau, a small microbrew in Covington, Louisiana. Um, I'm original from Germany, you can hear my accent. Uh, I'm a German trained brewmaster. After 10 years in, in, in different kind of jobs, I was a, a final production manager in Germany in one of the largest soft drink companies. So you have to not always be in a brewery, you can work, everything which has to do with production of beverage. America uh, created the microbrewers. Today we have 1,500. From the 1,500 breweries, uh, 1,440 are small microbrewers, brew pubs, uh, very, everybody independent, created his own creation. And the people, the public is really interested in, in different beers and crafts beers. So my first job was I had was in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, was very similar to Germany, working for a brew pub. Coming from Germany as a production manager, where you wear a suit, you're in charge, you have people working for you. Here you do everything by yourself. You back on the roots of brewing beer and it was really a lot of fun. Uh, two years later I got a job offer from the Abita Brewing Company in, in, in Abita Springs in Louisiana. Moved down to Louisiana. Uh, after five years uh, I got a job in, Cle uh, in, in North Carolina, in Greensboro, by the Red Hook Brewing Company. After two years I got homesick to Louisiana, so I'm back here and so I said okay, the only thing was I know is making beer, let's start the brewery. And this is really the high point of a brewer to be in charge of creating a new brewery. When coming in a brewery, you keep everything running the way it has was, when you create something new, you be a part of this. And so I'm the founder and the brewmaster from Heiner Brau in Cupping, Louisiana. Heiner Brau, it's a German style brewery. Uh, we try to keep the tradition of the New Orleans market alive. The German tradition here is in Louisiana and right now we have only two breweries left. This is a beer brewing company and Heiner Brau. And here by Heiner Brau, we're brewing the way how beer should be brewed. In 1516, uh, the King of Maximilian decided uh, from Bavaria to you can only use four basic ingredients. And the main ingredient is barley, water, yeast and hops, nothing else. The blend of the barley by using crystal hop, uh, barley, uh, Pilsner barley, Munich barley, Vienna barley, uh, it's the creation of the beer, which beer you brew, how dark the beer, how malty this is. Uh, like Kölsch, our main beer, we're using Pilsner malt, but the Pilsner malt is very bright, very light in the color, and gives a really nice gold color in the beer. The yeast, the yeast has a lot of influences and different kind of yeast strains. One of the yeast strains uh, create the flavor in the beer. So you have ale yeast or you have lager yeast. Uh, ale yeast is a uh, top fermented uh, yeast and lager yeast is bottom fermented yeast. Uh, the yeast really has a very big influence in the flavor profile. Uh, yeast creating carbon dioxide and alcohol was everybody loves on the beer, but at the same time produce heat. And uh, this is why you, it's so important that you have the temperature controls on your tanks. So hops here in America, it's Oregon. It's very uh, big on hops. And in Germany, uh, the problem is with American hops right now, it's because of the shortage. It's very hard to get a small brewer, American hops, so we have to import the hops from Germany. Normally, a uh, classic brew house is a mash kettle, a mash mixer, a louder turn, and a brew kettle. Here by Heiner Brown, we have a little bit of shortage uh, on vessels, so we are mashing in and loudering in the same vessel. So the mashing process takes around three hours to four hours uh, by beer type to beer type differently. And when you mix it up, mix it up first, uh, mashing in the, the barley with water, uh, you get a product that looks like an oatmeal. You wait 45 minutes, the uh, enzymes converting the starch into sugar and you have a clear liquid. Uh, the color of the liquid looks like the beer, was the final beer is. And similar to uh, uh, when you take a tea bag and you take a tea bag and, 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 and make a first batch of tea, you have a nice strong flavor. You take the tea bag again and uh, put it at water too, you get still flavor, not so strong, but you get the flavor too. We're doing the same and this called uh, 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 
lottery. You saw earlier we had the mash in there with the barley mixed with water, and all we're doing is is taking the liquid through the screen on the bottom, and it's coming out right here and going straight into the kettle. And that's what you see inside the kettle. All right, so all we're doing here is extracting the liquid that we were resting over there in the mash. And all we're left with is this brown sugary water now. It's called wort. It's a real pretty color. It's beautiful. It smells good. It's really sweet. Um, this is the strongest it'll probably be in the whole brewing process. This is called the first wort. We bring everything to a boil. And in a boil, what you do is you add the hops to, and it gives the flavoring of the beer, the bitterness of the beer. But the most important part is the sterilization. After, everything after the, the boiling process has to be sterile. Before you use everything, you have to everything sterilize. Here in Heinebrau, we're using hot water because environmental-wise is the best way to do and has the best efficiency in, in sterilization. We are sterilizing the whole system uh, for around 20 minutes by 190 to 200 degrees. So after everything is sterilized, we cool down with sterile cold water and then we're transferring the beer. The brew kettle, uh, later off the brew kettle, we go in a heat exchanger and after this we have everything using flexible hoses because we use different kind of tanks. The transfer from the brew house to the cellar has to be in, again in a closed system, adding the yeast tube and after the end of the uh, runoff, we call this runoff, which takes us around 35 to 45 minutes, uh, we are uh, pushing everything out of beer again with sterile cold water. As an important, everything has to be sterile after this. final day of the fermentation, we're closing down the tanks. So in the fermentation process, what takes us uh, between uh, three days, four days for uh, ale, or the eight days for lager beer, uh, we drop the temperature to 45 degrees and then we're transferring the beer to the aging tank. And the aging tank is 32 degrees or the lower. So the yeast starting settling down has no more nutrition to eat and uh, settle down on the uh, bottom of the tank and uh, the beer get clear by itself. Uh, the aging process uh, today, because we have temperature control tanks, it's between two and three weeks. We have every tank uh, cooled down by itself, so we can speed up the process. Our beers are natural carbonated and when we have one gram of fermentable sugar left over, we close down the tank, the carbonation uh, cannot leave the tanks and most of the time one gram fermentable sugar creates five grams of CO2, but it's also the typical American style of beer.